In this video, we are going to take a look at McKenna Velichko, currently the number six rated prospect in the 2026 class. I will give you her background and why teams such as South Carolina are lining up to get her to play at their school and why Don Staley might be lined up on the inside track to bring her home. Before we start, if you enjoy the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a like. McKenna Velichko is a 6'2 wing. She's the highest rated wing in the 26 class. She can play inside and outside. Currently, she's on the under 17 world championship team playing in Mexico. In the quarterfinals, for instance, she went for 16 points, 17 rebounds, three assists. She has that all-around game where she can play inside, outside, and defend one through five. And it appears like she is only scratching the surface as she didn't really get serious about basketball until she was 12. Prior to that, she would shoot around with her dad who played college ball, but really before that, she was just playing all sports like football, soccer, volleyball, any sport she would play, but her primary sport was actually softball. As her mom, Erica, was a softball player and was on scholarship at Pacific University where she met McKenna's dad, Aaron, who was playing basketball on scholarship as well. Velitsko's athleticism just oozes on the softball field. She plays shortstop, good hands, good arms. She's like a Cal Ripken or A-Rod. She can hit two. She averaged three. 80 her freshman year in high school and 419 her sophomore year. Some of the schools that she's talked to that have been recruiting her have mentioned that she'd be able to play softball in the spring, but she's resigned to that if she wants to go basketball, that's where she's going to have to put all her focus on. And she has already made that decision as there's more opportunity in basketball. She says, it sucks that if I wanted to do softball, there isn't much of a future in that area. So I try to focus more on basketball. That path makes a lot more sense. So at 12, she joined an under-13 AAU team, and then when she went into under-14s, she was too good, and they moved her up to under-17s. In middle school, she grew from 5'8 to 6'1. There's a nice little clip of her dunking a tennis ball. When it was time to choose high school, she had to make a decision. Did she want to stay local or commute daily 40 minutes to Archbishop Mitty? And, and the draw to Archbishop Mitty was Sue Phillips, the coach there. Very strong program. They've previous alumni Daniel Robinson, Haley Jones at Stanford, and then of course Morgan Chelly, who's starting her freshman year at UConn. And she chose the daily commute as she wanted to be around better players and a strong program just to maximize her potential and improve. And it is paid off. As she hit the ground running at Archbishop Mitty, she did not expect to start or even make the varsity squad, but she did. She really helped them as Morgan Chelly was out for a large portion of the season with a foot injury and Velichko just flourished and got better and better as the season went along averaging 20 points 10 rebounds she was named Max Preps co-national freshman of the year she made the team USA under 16 world championship team where she averaged 11 points 9 rebounds and shot 62% from the floor and was named to the tournament all-star 5 team Velichko followed that up with even a stronger sophomore year going for 22 points 8 rebounds and 2 point one blocks. Morgan Chelly missed time again due to a hamstring injury and her numbers just went up over that period as she averaged 25 points and 10 rebounds which included a game where she went for 30 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 blocks. As I mentioned at the start of the video, she is currently playing in the under 17 world championship. She is averaging 10 points and 9 rebounds in just over 19 minutes a game. They seem to be rotating her and Addison Bajorn at the wing spot and they are just crushing teams with their length and with the press. So I think overall you get the picture. She is very talented and she's only just scratching the surface. Not surprisingly, a number of big time schools have come in with scholarship offers, which includes Stanford, Utah, Ohio State, Arizona, UCLA, Vanderbilt, Florida, South Carolina, USC, Cal, Tennessee, UNC, Notre Dame, Maryland, and Florida State. Interesting, one school that is not on that list is UConn. Now, Gina Oriema has made mention of a really good softball player 
but no official offer as far as I am aware of. UConn is clearly in on Addison Bajorn, who is the other top wing in the 26 class, as they have already offered her a scholarship. As well, they've already signed Morgan Chelle, Velichko's teammate, so I just don't know if they feel like her skill set is just too similar to those players or if an official offer will come to be determined. But one program that is being very clear that they are interested is South Carolina, who offered her a scholarship in March 2023. Basically, her dad, Aaron, have been teasing South Carolina a little bit. First, when McKenna got the offer in March of 23, Aaron Velichko tweeted out that he just headed to New York and was looking for a place to eat and how excited he was that his daughter had gotten an offer from South Carolina and that across from the hotel, what do you know, Dawn's Victory Sports Cafe was right there for a bite to eat for dinner. McKenna took an unofficial visit to South Carolina over the summer of 23. And then after South Carolina won the championship in 24, McKenna's dad, Aaron Velichko, sent out a congratulations tweet to Don Staley and tagged her saying McKenna was watching. And not surprisingly, that fired up South Carolina fan with one tweet saying, we want McKenna. And then Aaron fired back with a, a picture of McKenna and Don Staley in front of the South Carolina logo. And of course, this doesn't mean that she's going to South Carolina, but they are clearly well in the mix and I think the thing they have going for them in terms of recruiting her is that she wants to be challenged and go to a strong program with lots and lots of talent and have to fight as she's already done this in high school by taking the challenge of going to Archbishop Mitty which not only had Morgan Chelly there that she would need to compete with and play with but also included the challenges of an hour and a half daily commute and that in large part was to be coached by Sue Phillips who the coach she knew would push her as she says as a coach. Phillips is awesome. She's always pushing you and trying to get you out of your comfort zone. So when you're in the moment, you know how to respond and react. She's also your supporter and friend and family and will be there when you need it. She cares about you on and off the court. And it seems like she was pretty focused from a young age that she wanted to be spectacular in something. As her dad, Aaron, coached a few years of college ball after he finished his college career. And when she was only eight, he went into her room and noticed some sticky notes up on the ceiling and he squinted and took a look. The first note said, I want to be the best in the country. The second, I will be the best in the country. And the third, I am the best in the country. And he realized that his daughter must have been listening to him when he was talking to his teams as he used to use affirmation statements to help push his players. But he'd never spoken to her or encouraged her to do this. She just picked this up on her own and had utilized it and had these statements up on her ceiling. So I think it's pretty clear that McKenna Velichko is pretty focused and driven and has talent. And that is why all these different schools are so interested in her. So now it's over to you. Where do you think she is going to play her college ball at? As well, are you surprised that UConn hasn't given her a formal scholarship offer? And if she has, point it out to me in the comments. I've missed it. I searched. And I can't see a formal scholarship offer to her. Now over to you, your thoughts, your comments. All your comments are welcome. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good night.